So we're gonna split some crankcases here and we thought we'd shoot a video of it. Um, some people are intimidated by this. Some crankcases are easier to split than others. Um, check with the manual first to see which case half comes off first. And if you need a crankcase splitting tool like what we're running into here, this engine, the RMZ here, it does require a crankcase splitting tool. This is a universal tool, it's applicable and used on a lot of models. We can actually use this tool to push the crankshaft out once the cases are split. Later on, um, we'll show that. So, main thing to keep in mind here, um, make sure you have all the fasteners out. People that's done this before, everybody's done it. You know, they don't wanna come apart, you check, there's another bolt or two you missed in there. So, double check, make sure your bolts are gone is step one. Um, usually you can figure this out on your own or check with the mail for a specific alignment, but uh, when you go to put your tool on, usually the idea is you're pushing against the crankshaft um, to get these apart. When you install the tool, you want to make sure that you have it pretty symmetrical so it's not leaning one way or the other and it's pulling straight up. Also, you want to make sure these bolts are threaded in securely. If you only catch a few threads, this is aluminum and this is steel, and if you have a hard to separate crankcase, you can pull the threads out of these bolts and then you've got a whole nother problem to deal with. So make sure these are threaded in good, and then you can start to split the cases. So as you split the cases, you're gonna to wanna to pay close attention to the gap between the crankcases. You wanna keep this even, and we'll, we'll kinda of show this as we go. So let's go ahead and apply some force to this tool and see if we can do this. So basically you hold the one nut down here, you turn this bolt and it starts to go. You should hear, not always, but like a pop when they come apart. Just go kind of nice and slow. There, there's the pop. And they're starting to move. So usually what I do is start that, stop what you're doing, come back down and check your gap here. Now if your gap seems to be a little even or you feel a little binding, you can take a rubber mallet and just kind of go around and, and free it up as you move along. You may have to do this more than once, so that seems pretty good. And we will keep going here. Okay, I'm gonna stop again. I'm gonna get a little, little tap here and there. Looks pretty even. Go a little more. All right, gonna stop again. Gap looks off, looks higher on the right side here, so I'm gonna give it a little Give it a little tap, looks like that even back up. Back to the tool. Should be about there. And I'm gonna tap again. There we go. And what you're doing here is you're pulling the bearing, the crank bearing off of the crankshaft. So I think we're really close here. I think we may be good. So what we'll do now is we'll back this crankcase splitting tool off. We'll go ahead and take the pressure off of it. You'll feel it, feel it free up, kind of flop it around. At this point, you want to support your tool so you don't drop it on the cases. We're going to remove the tool from the crankcase half. One more to go. Okay, we can set this aside. Now, this is where you want to pay attention. Um, this case half still is a little bound up, so give it a little tap there. 
And this one's still a little stuck, so we may end up having to reinstall our tool. To get it all the way off of there. But what you're going to want to do at this point is to just watch out. You may have some dowel pins still stuck in there. There may be some shims on the transmission shafts that will fall off. Maybe, maybe not. Just stuff to keep in mind as you're, as you're separating them so you don't hear parts drop in there and wonder where they went. Um, so we'll see. So this one still is a little stuck, so I'm going to tap it with the rubber mallet. Okay, there we go. That was a little easier than installing the tool back on there. Sometimes you may just have to put the tool back on. So I like to use my hands to kind of hold the transmission shafts down a little bit so you don't pull the transmission out when you come apart. So then as you take this case half off, just gently flip it over. And here's what I'm talking about. So you see right here, this washer, the viscosity of oil stuck this washer here. So just note it so it doesn't get lost or misplaced. That washer goes on this transmission shaft here. It fits that diameter nicely. So that's where that would went. Just keep note of that stuff. And that's your separation of your crankcase halves there. And it's pretty similar on most engines. They're all a little different, but the, the same rules apply.